this video, I'm going to share with you how I get my overall length and how I load my 600 yard ammunition. Welcome back to 10X Power Up, everyone. My name is Steve. So as I just stated, I'm going to get my overall length because I just changed my barrel, so I need a new seating depth on my 600 yard ammunition. I'm going to show you the process I use for that and the tools. I'm going to show you how I load my 600 yard ammunition and how I check the overall length to make sure it's what I want it to be. All right, so to check the overall length for my 600 yard ammo, we're gonna need this rod. We're gonna need a special case that's threaded on the bottom. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna screw this case onto this overall length gauge here. And just make it snug, don't make it tight to where you need tools out of it. And then we're gonna take an, a bullet, actual bullet, and we're gonna drop it in here. And what we're gonna do is loosen up this screw and we're gonna pull this back. And you can see how the bullet will drop Okay, so right here, I'm going to loosen up this set screw. I'm going to pull back on this cable. That's going to allow me to push the bullet into the lands. You can see how short it is. So when I push this forward, you can see what happens to the bullet. So we're just going to slip this in here gently. All right. And then we're going to push that cable down until it's, the bullet stops moving forward. And then I'm going to take this gauge, which is going to, Right here, it's going to seat up against the O-guy, and I like to leave it loose just because you can't get a perfect alignment with this when you're doing it. And then I'm just going to put the thinnest part of the caliper, oops, I'm going to put the thinnest part of the caliper on the case, it'll give me a more accurate reading, and just walk it in gentle. It's measuring 2 inch 9. 35 is what it's measuring. So I'm going to make my first charge now. We're going to put in 23.6 is going to be the charge I'm going to use for this. Sometimes the electronic scale just doesn't dispense 100% accurately. So now you can see that we're a little bit off. So I'm going to trickle in just a little bit of powder and that looks pretty good right there at 23.6. So what I'm going to do now that we have the powder in the case is I'm going to put the case on this. It's a Wilton gauge that I have. And I'm just going to slip this over the top and we're going to have to adjust this. So we put that in and we push down. Now I know we're going to have to adjust it because like I said my other load was slightly longer. So and what we're going to do is put that in here now and we're just going to run this up and I'm running right now you can see that I'm at 1 inch 2 9 to 22 and I want to be somewhere is around 2 inch 9 10 I want to get to something like 2 inch 9 15 but I come back anywhere from 15 to 20 thousandths so we're going to do this again I felt it go in just a little bit Put it on the caliper, and we're at 2 inch 915. All right, so let's try it again, see what we got. That's where I right want to be. That's 2 inch 913. So that, that's where I want to be. So that's giving me 10, 22 off, 22 off uh, the original length, which was 2 inch 935. So I like that one. So we're going we're gonna to go with that. Then the last thing I do is I wake each case after it's got a bullet in it with powder just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Make sure I didn't get distracted because it has happened to me before. So my process is powder charge electronically. I check it on the balance scale. I put the bullet in one at a time. I measure the OAL to the OGI, and then I weigh it to make sure that I do in fact have a complete case, primer, powder, case, and bullet. And the Lapua's with the 80 grain bullets for me will measure anywhere from 201 to 202. It's pretty much the average. So all four of these that we loaded, this is 2013, 
that's just components and that's what it looks like if you're new to the sport the difference 77 to 80 grain if you're new to the sport 77s we measure overall length here for magazine length and for the 80 grain bullets we're measuring to this point which we call the old guy and that's what's going to contact your lance that's the process i use for loading my 600 yard ammunition so i sincerely hope that you found this video helpful if you like it give me a big thumbs up and share with your friends check this video out up here for loading 77 grain ammunition for 223 leave me a comment in the section below and let me know what you thought of this video Thanks for watching 10X Power Up. Have a great day and see you on the range.